So the uh, outside of the car in the other video, let's see if I can uh, just, it's 1980 300 SD with 53,000 original miles. Um, so I'm just going through and inspecting stuff. I had to replace the uh, air filter housing uh, rubber um, isolators, rubber bushings, whatever you call them. They're, they were broken as normal. But uh, anyway, I want to get under the car. Let me turn on the light. See how clean this thing is. Looks like the previous owner did put in new engine mounts. Um, there's a new tie rod. You can tell from the rubber. That's new. That rubber's new. Um, yep, new tie rods on this side. So clean under here. I guess that speedometer cable still got the little sheath around it. I did also go up to the, uh, let's see if I can find this part here. Um, there we go. See that little, uh, there we go. That little drain nipple there. I stuck a coat hanger up in there and made sure it was not clogged. There's also one right there. Those tend to clog up and when they do it'll it'll flood inside the car. Not flood, but you'll get water in the floorboards. Um, transmission is clean. I did notice uh, this morning there was some diesel on the ground and I think this is the vent for the gas tank so I think that's why this is wet up here there's just I guess diesel mist from several decades blowing up there but I did notice that there was a small puddle of diesel on the carport and that's because those little braided um, hoses right there are original and they need to be replaced. See, see the one on the left, left is, I just wiped it off and it's already wet again. So that one's, uh, that's leaking pretty bad. Um, so I just need to change those, put some new rubber on there. <clears throat> Perfectly dry around the rear end. Looks like someone might have I know there was no seal from the factory, so it looks like this has been off and someone resealed it. Um, so they must have changed the fluid in there. And I know the my other 1980 300SD has the can style uh, axles. This one has the, looks like the service replacement style. So I don't know if they were doing this later in 1980. So some cars had it, some cars didn't. I think that's the case. Um, because just judging from the rubber, um, that looks like original rubber. Yeah, that's definitely original rubber. Um, that'll need to be replaced eventually, but there's no cracks in it yet. Um, looks like someone did remove the filter and uh, tank filter and clean that off. The exhaust hangers, yep, those are the original hangers. You can see the cracking in them. That's the stuff that sometimes will break. Um, and it looks like the sway bar. Let me see if I can see it from this side. Yeah, it looks like the sway bar in link. That's too clean. That might have been replaced. Yeah, that looks really clean. So that could have been replaced. Sway bar in links. Um, but the car is amazingly, amazingly clean. I mean, look, there's normally, uh, you know, oil everywhere under these cars. Um, but this is such low miles, I just never had a chance to do that. Um, looks like the 
control arm. Gosh, that's in great shape. I don't know if that's original or not. It's really clean. I think that's an original shock. Yeah, because you can see the wear on it. But uh, there's no issues with the shocks. Um, it rides very smooth. This control arm, I don't know, that could be a replacement. Uh, that rubber looks really good. I'm um, looking at the rubber. That's original rubber, I'm pretty sure, but it's it's not deteriorated. It's very clean. Um, there you go. There's some original rubber too. You can see, you can tell it's original, but you know it's still there, still serving its purpose. Let's see up in here. Yeah, all the rubber looks really good. Um, looks like, yep, someone definitely replaced the steering coupler right there. And that steering box, that looks like a replacement because it's too clean. Unless they took it out and cleaned it off, there's, because I think they're normally black. That one looks like it's uh, silver, but that's way too clean, so I think that might have been taken out. I'm sure they took it out to get the coupler off, so they probably cleaned it up. Um, looks like the oil filter, it's not leaking here by the block, the oil filter housing. Got a little oil back here, but it looks, uh, really looks super clean. I'm going to uh, lower the car down and then I'll take another video of the interior and the engine compartment.